Hi children, in this video I am going to discuss about 9th class mathematics real numbers, 8th uh, Roman in first exercise. In 8th Roman they given some non-terminating repeated decimals. Four problems were there, non-terminating repeated decimals. So now the question is express each non-terminating repeated decimal in the p by q form. p by q form means it is a rational number. We know about it. So p by q form. How we express non-terminating repeated decimals in the p by q form means we have some important processes. Already we know we learnt in 8th class. Again we are repeating this. So shall we discuss uh, third problem here, third and fourth problems. So firstly third problem. Okay now let us we take 0.36 bar. Bar means, bar indicates a number which is going on forever. When we remove the bar for these two digits, 36 will going on forever. So I am going to write like this. Let x is equal to assume the given number as x. Let x is equal to 0 0.36. Remove the bar now. 36 will go continuously. Going on forever. So to indicate it is going on forever, we represent dots here. Dots represents 36 will going on forever. So this is non-repeated. So now listen, x is equal to 0 0.363636 and so on. Now here what we call as 36. 36 is repeated digit. 36 is repeated digit. Is it right? So 36 is called as period. We call it as period. So 36 is equal to period. What is meant by period? Repeated digit is called period. How many digits are there? Two digits. One, two. Two digits are repeated here. That is called as periodicity. Periodicity. What we call it? Periodicity. So how much it is? Two. 2 is the periodicity. So if periodicity is 2, you take a number 100 because 2 means 2 zeros. 2 zeros. 2 zeros number is 100. So you take the number 100 multiplied by x. 100 into x. 100x is equal to 0 0.363636 36 and so on into 100 again. So why we take 100 children? Because periodicity is 2. So that we have to take 100. So now multiplication 100 into x 100x 100 x 100 into x 100x. 100 into 0 0.363636 and so on. So here we have two zeros. Two zeros means decimal point moves two steps to the right. Means 3, 6 after we get a point. 3, 6 after we get a point. Again 3, 6, 3, 6 will come. 3, 6, 3, 6 and so on. So this is the multiplication of 100 into 0 0.363636. So now take this 100x value that is 36.3636 and so on and subtract the value x. What is x? x is equal to 0 0.36. So 0 0.3636 and so on. Now subtraction. 
zero 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 point six three is equal to ninety nine x hundred x minus six ninety nine x zeros are not valid so ninety nine x is equal to thirty six x is equal to thirty six by ninety nine x is equal to thirty six by ninety nine so now here we can cancel this also 36 by 99 cancel with nine table how many times nine fours of 36 nine elevens of so what is the answer is equal to four by eleven so therefore zero point three six bar can be written as four by eleven this that is the p by q form. Four by eleven is the p by q form. I hope you understand. Is it right? Okay. Uh, shall we discuss one more problem here? Uh, that is fourth problem. I am going to discuss fourth problem. Uh, what is the fourth problem here? The fourth problem is three point one two seven bar. So here the given bar is for only one digit, that is seven. Means seven is going on forever. So let the given number as x. X is equal to three point one two. Seven is going on forever. So seven. Seven is the repeated digit here. So what we call repeated digit? Yes, period. Period is equal to seven. Now periodicity. Periodicity. What is periodicity? One only one number is repeated. Seven is the digit seven only repeating. Means only one digit is repeating, so that periodicity will be one. If periodicity is one, what number should we take here? Ten, because one periodicity means one zero. The number which consists of one zero that is ten. So periodicity one, so that you take ten. Okay, now multiplication. Ten into x. 10x is equal to 3.127777 and so on into 10. Now multiply that. 10 into x 10x. So here 10 into 3.127777 and so on. So point will move one step to the right. So three will get as it is, but we should not write point here. One, one after we get a point, one step to the right. That means two, seven, 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 and so on. Please try to understand this. Yes. Now multiplication completed. Now ten x is equal to. Thirty-one point two seven seven and so on. Subtract x. That is three point one two. So exactly at the one three point one two seven seven and so on. This is the subtraction. Now do the subtraction here. Zero zero seven minus two five two minus one one. Point one minus three, that is eleven minus three. Eleven minus three, how much? Eight. Now it will get as two here. So nine x is equal to. So here we get twenty eight point one five zero zero zero. So not valid. X is equal to twenty eight point one five divided by nine. Twenty-eight point one five divided by nine. Now, in the numerator, there is a decimal point. 
so that you write 2815 remove the decimal point 2815 by 9 after decimal point we have how many digits 1 2 so that 2 2 zeros you write 2815 by 900 then we cancel this number with 5 table ok we cancel this number with 5 table 5 5 is 25 5 5 is 25 3 will get 3 5 6 is 30 1 will get 5 3 is 15 next 5 1 is 5 4 will get 5 8 is 40 5 0 0 so finally we get 563 divided by 180 this is the p by q form of 3.127 bar so finally we write it 3.127 bar is equal to 563 by 180 563 by uh, 180 that is the answer for uh, the given problem so now your work is do first and second problems that is homework to you first and second problems homework to you so did you understand children any doubts if you have any doubts please ask me uh, i will cl clarify your doubts okay uh, we meet in the next class till then have a nice day take care